Alpha Grind, I really, really like it. If you're a coffee lover and a nootropic lover, you really can't go wrong with this one. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little nootropic review on this Alpha Grind. And I don't know if it's supposed to be a copy of Alpha Brain. If it is the exact same ingredients, I'll put something on screen, but it definitely looks a lot like Alpha Brain. And it actually has some pretty exotic ingredients that I really enjoyed. And this is actually a really unique nootropic blend, which I would actually prefer. I don't like reviewing a lot of cookie cutter blends. This blend actually did a lot of different things that I didn't expect it to do, which I appreciate. So real quick, I'm gonna go over the ingredients here. I'm gonna try to speed through them. If there's one that I don't know about, I'll let you know and try to put something on screen when I'm editing. So the first thing we got here is L-tyrosine. Now L-tyrosine is one of my favorite nootropics ever. It was probably one of the first nootropics I ever got into. I didn't even really know about nootropics, but I really liked L-tyrosine back then. It's Something that naturally turns into dopamine in your body, which is the feel good molecule or one of them. It's one of the ones that gets you up, gets you motivated, gets you doing things. I absolutely love tyrosine and N acetyl L tyrosine. They're both good. I love to see it in this blend. This has 15 scoops, but it has up to 30 servings if you want to do a half scoop. But almost every time I did a full scoop or more. Phenethylamine PEA. Now, I actually want to do a deep dive video into phenethylamine. It is the backbone to numerous stimulants, illegal stimulants. It's the backbone to Adderall. It's the backbone to methamphetamine. It's the backbone backbone to MDMA, it's the backbone to ephedrine, it's the backbone to I think peyote, I forget that compound, but there's like a psychedelic that it's also related to. So the phenethylamine base is used in so many feel good compounds, but the actual phenethylamine itself, apparently it gets absorbed really, really quick by like MOAB or something. So there's something in your body that breaks down this phenethylamine very quick. So you do get some of those pleasant effects that you would get with those other stimulants and compounds, but it's very mild. There'd be no chance of like psychedelic tripping or anything Thing, you probably would just feel good maybe a little bit of energy maybe a little bit of love but it's not going to last very long because it gets broken down so quickly in your system but i've always wanted to try it ever since i saw how closely related it is to so many other things and that it's legal and easy to buy and a lot of people try it and they say there's nothing wrong with it so all right coco buterol now this is one i had researched before i haven't researched it in a while i think it has something to do with fat burning i could be wrong i'll try to put something on screen about it though all right cytochol now, usually when I use products that contain choline, it's either choline bitartrate or alpha GPC. For a while there, I would kind of confuse cytocholine with alpha GPC because they're both these kind of premium versions of choline. So uh, if I find some information about cytocholine being better than alpha GPC or the bitartrate version, I'll put it on screen. But to me, I get this kind of focus with almost like this zend out kind of feel. I don't really feel as like cracked out or overly energetic i just feel more calm but focused at the same time there's so many like bad diseases where people can't control their body and a lot of it is due to like the choline being really out of whack i love to see it in this blend and pretty much all nootropic blends now you got l-theanine at 100 milligrams for one full scoop which is something I like. l is more of this zend out type of feeling. I think it turns on like alpha brain waves in your head, which is like the most dominant, the best brain waves that you want. It can make you a little drowsy at times if you take the higher doses. Usually I think a normal dose for l is about 200 milligrams. So you have just enough in this blend to kind of complement the caffeine, but not as much to make you tired or kind of combat what you're trying to do. I always like L-theanine and I like this dose. All right guys, now we got the caffeine portion of the list and you got two different kinds of caffeine, which I really appreciate. Using multiple kinds of caffeine is going to make it feel more balanced. There should be less of an up and a down. It should be more of a even keel and less extremes. I always like two forms of caffeine. So you got caffeine from coffee and then this sustained release caffeine called VitaSure. So always love to see it. Now you got essentially hyperzine A, which is kind of like a backdoor to get more choline in the body versus just taking choline. So you have that cytocholine in here, which is a premium version of choline. And then you also have this hyperzine A. So you're getting a lot of extra choline in the body. And like I said, choline's great for all focus, not really so much motivation, but just focus, 
not being cracked out and it's very important for your motor skills and motor function like if you really mess up your choline and you get it to like zero like you pretty much can't control your body so all right guys now we got this mediator phosphatidic acid i know i'm butchering that i'll try to put it on screen you have a pretty high dose here of 750 milligrams for a full scoop which is i think the most milligrams they use out of any ingredient in this list so it must have some really good benefits i'll put it on screen all right now you got this ksm 66 which is an extract of ashwagandha and i love ashwagandha it's not something that i get extremely strong effects to the point where i have to take it all the time but every single time that i take it i've been pleasantly surprised it has numerous good effects on the body it is really good for your brain it also i think helps refresh your brain after adrenal fatigue so if you were to be taking any sort of stimulant and zap your brain Taking the ashwagandha will help heal that, you know, whether it's caffeine, whether it's Adderall, whether it's nicotine, the ashwagandha should help get you back to normal and heal your brain faster from using too many stimulants. I've definitely read that. So KSM 66 is the more premium version and you have 300 milligrams for one scoop, which is, I would say probably the average dose for KSM. Uh, usually ashwagandha is dosed at about a gram. This is the stronger version, so I could see it being very potent at 300 milligrams. All right, now you got this maca root, and maca root is another adaptogen. You only have 100 milligrams in here, which is, to be honest, kind of low, but I think you get a lot of sexual benefits with it. I think you get a lot of energy, and it's an adaptogen, so usually that means that it kind of adapts to heal your body and basically does whatever it needs, which sounds too good to be true, but I've had a lot of good positive benefits from maca throughout the years. So this last one, to be honest, I, I'm having trouble pronouncing it. I don't really know what it's called. I will look it up, put it on screen. I'm sure, I'm sure it has some benefit and some uses. We'll find that out right now because we're looking at it on screen. The flavor on this is, I think, like black coffee. There really is no flavor. And I've also had energy mixes that have iced coffee type taste where it's sugary. This honestly just tastes like pretty much straight up black coffee, but that's something I can appreciate. I used to drink coffee quite a bit. I don't really as much now, but I think there's like a purity in the overall blend because they don't use a lot of extra sweeteners and I actually appreciate that. So as far as the effects on this stuff, now I recently did a review where I hit like a wall taking stimulants. I needed to take a stimulant break. And I tried this on like one of the first days coming back from that stimulant break. And I did feel a little bit anxious, but I think that was where my mind was and everything else. I just wasn't ready to take anything at that time. I've taken this for close to a week now. Lots today. I probably had close to two scoops today. And the effects are really, really nice. It definitely has a unique feel to all the other nootropic blends that I have. Um, it contains multiple ingredients that I'm not used to seeing, like the cytocholine, like I don't really think I have any supplement right now that contains that version. KSM 66, super strong, potent version of ashwagandha, I like that. The phenethylamine, like again, I almost wanna buy some phenethylamine on my own and test it out because of how many things it's the backbone to. So there's so many unique things in this blend. I'm not really sure exactly what gives it the, the oomph that it has, but it's just very nice and very different. Now, it didn't blow my mind as much as something like vintage pre-workout. For some reason, that just blew my mind. I have no idea why. I love that stuff. But at the same time, it feels different to the other nootropic blends that I have, and I really, really appreciate it. There's ingredients in here that are not in any of my other supplements. Most of the time when you get an energy blend, a nootropic blend, a pre-workout, a lot of times you can have almost the exact same ingredients or maybe one, two unique ingredients. This has multiple and I really liked it for that. So if you're interested in a strong coffee-like nootropic, this one is one that I got to recommend. I really did enjoy it. Not the most mind-blowing, but different and effective. And I liked it. And I like the pure kind of feeling of the coffee as well without those colors or sugars and just get it all out. I'm cool with the coffee. If you like coffee, you'll probably like this one. If you wanna toss in some creamer, I think you could as well. So anyways, guys, Alpha Grind, I really, really like it. If you're a coffee lover and a nootropic lover, you really can't go wrong with this one. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.